Hi, thank you for joining us for another session of Superuser TV. I'm Shamal Tahir with IBM, representing the product work group for this session. Hi, I'm Carol Barrett with Intel, and happy to talk about the community roadmap that the product work group has been producing for the past couple of releases. We first started producing the release, actually, the roadmap rather in uh, Vancouver. And the reason for the um, for doing this was a couple. One was <clears throat> we wanted to be able to have a consolidated view of what were the projects doing, where were they focusing their energy, what type of enhancements were coming into the, into the projects so that the community could be aware in different projects, so that operators could have that information to base their current deployments, scaling them, planning maintenance, upgrades, and new operators could go ahead and have that information as they're considering how they were going to start their deployment. And it's really been, I think, a valuable piece of information that we've continued to produce every quarter. Yeah, so it's a lot of data that we gather. Uh, in the last <laughs> roadmap, actually, we had about 27 projects that we covered. And from that perspective, what we aimed to do was we wanted to collect that information, make it available to, to the users and the community of OpenStack, whether you're a developer, an operator, a business decision maker. And to that end, we took this data, and on top of this data, we built what we call views. Mm -hmm. And each view offers a different level of detail. So the highest level view provides information on themes. And what we define as themes today are things like scalability, resiliency, manageability, interoperability, modularity, to give, give a very broad brushstroke idea of what's happening in a release of OpenStack or within a project of OpenStack. And then the next level of detail is we actually say, okay, if a release had a certain theme, which projects were actually working against that theme, and that's why we said this, the theme for this release is so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And then finally, of course, if you're really interested in knowing the internal workings of how the teams are operating and what they're working on, from that perspective, we have the last level of detail, which is giving you exact um, transcript almost of what mm -hmm. information we got from the project teams themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, <clears throat> which is what you would expect if you think about how we go ahead and put together the information. So we start by, you know, the last set of information that we published in the roadmap, and then we actually sit down and interview the PTLs to get their uh, latest thinking on what are they going to do in this upcoming release and how that's going to, um, how that's going to continue or change in the release after that. And then we take the information from specs and other ether pads and blueprints and consolidate that into a set of information to feed those different views. And then review it with the PTLs and the project teams to make sure that we have the, most, uh, the latest information and the most accurate view of it all uh, before we go ahead and compile it together. Um, I think maybe the other thing to think about and or to share in, as we talk about the roadmap is um, the um, what we cover in the roadmap. So what projects are in there? Because the Big Ten is ever increasing, and that's more resources than we have inside of the product work group to be able to go ahead and get that level of information. So we look at what are the top projects that are being adopted by operators today, and we look to the user survey to tell us that information. So we target being able to include all the projects that are greater than 10% uh, reported deployment. Uh, in the user survey. And then we also include sort of the essential projects that don't appear in the user survey. Things like Oslo and RevStack. And then the last thing we look at is what are the up and coming projects that we're hearing operators talk about? That we want to go ahead and be able to provide that information so that they can start to think about when might be a time for them to either start to do a POC or dive in and learn more about it. That's really how we figure it out. And uh, for this release, that brought us to a total of 28 projects. Where in the last release it had been 22, and previous to that it had been 17. So we're ever increasing our coverage on the Big Ten to provide that information out to the community and to operators. Exactly, and so in the roadmap, and we don't have enough time to go through the entire <laughs> detail of what we have in there, but you know, you, you have to find information in there that tells you that you know, Glance is focused on a new image, um, image API for uploading. Mm -hmm. uh, images and then of course Nova will continue to work on scalability through Cells V2 mm -hmm. and so there's a ton of data in there and where you can find the roadmap is openstack.org slash roadmap mm -hmm. and if you're using the roadmap we're also looking for feedback on seeing how we can maybe define better themes mm -hmm. or how we might be able to better, better represent the data as well so mm -hmm. feel free to drop us a line on the product work group mailing list mm -hmm. or uh, you'll find us in IRC as well mm -hmm. and we'll be glad to hear 
and keep an eye out for the upcoming Newton Design Series as well, where you can watch videos of uh, some of the PTLs of the top projects that will talk to you directly from their voice and what their teams are focused on and what they think are the top priorities for them. Well, thank you so much, Carol. Thanks, Shamil.